Okay, so uh, sometimes speaking less is more. There are a lot of circumstances whereby speaking a lot is not required. And you have to discipline yourself to know when and where to speak less. Because oftentimes I see people who run them out and they don't know that that is an acquired skill you need to learn when not to speak a lot. Sometimes just because you speak a lot doesn't mean you're the smartest person in the room. Or it doesn't mean you're the most knowledgeable human being in that room. There's some people who will never utter a word, but they know more than you who is running your mouth. <laughs> no, no, I'll be honest, okay? I know I'm laughing, but that is the harsh truth. No one to run your mouth and a whom to run your mouth to. If the person is your friend and you guys are cool, run your mouth until the next day. But if this is someone you're just meeting and you don't know them too well, do not run your mouth. Keep some secret in your tummy. <laughs> Keep some secret. Being an open book doesn't work with everyone. If you're super cool with the person, I get it. You guys are friends, same generation, and why not? It's not in the setting that is a professional. If you guys are in a, uh, you know, any setting, and you know this person, go ahead, run your mouth. But if you are in a professional setting, talking less is more. It makes you mysterious. It makes you interesting. People are eager to hear the person who doesn't talk a lot in the room than to, to hear someone who speaks all the times in the room because they want to know they want to know what this person who is not talking so much is thinking and his thoughts is what raises their curiosity because he just said he or she doesn't talk this in the professional setting this is uh, something you need to learn they want to know what you have to say and what you have to say will be very important to them because you talk less but you say more. Do you get it? Talk less, but say more. Talk less and work harder at the gym, okay? Don't tell people that you're working out or you're lifting weight. Let your body speak for itself. Let your health speak for itself. Let the doctors, uh, 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 the annual doctor's visit speak for itself. You don't need to tell the doctor you work out. You don't need to tell the doctor you eat healthy. You don't need to tell the doctor about your resume. How about you, the doctor shows you all your uh, 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 work, all your results on paper, black and white? Let those results speak for themselves, not you. Talk less and do more. Doing a lot is not always welcome, especially in a professional setting. And though it takes away from your focus. Talking too much takes away from your focus. Right now, I'm running my mouth, but I'm just here to relate, <laughs> to relate to you guys uh, what I'm thinking. But I'm sure someone can learn from this. Someone can learn from this. You know, I, I like to share my knowledge to, to, to you, I mean, with you guys, because I believe it's important. The world has evolved. People watch you very close than you think. So be careful what you say, how you say it, when and where you say it. That being said, right now, let's just help and talk less and put in more work at the gym. Why not? Let's go.